When it's hot, we turn on the fan. At night, we turn on the light. What a useful remote fan light. The other day, I went to the warehouse and found that such a great product had no manual in the box. Even though it's simple, there must be people who want to learn more about it. So I decided to make this video to clearly explain how to use it. If anything is unclear, feel free to let me know in the comments. And if you like it, a thumbs up would mean a lot to me. Just find this video and follow along when you're installing it. Now, let's check out our RF controllers with different enclosures. All of them run on 220 volts, input and output 220 volts. These are wet contacts, not dry contacts. So the output directly carries 220 volts. They all operate at 433 megahertz, perfect for pairing with 433 megahertz remotes. Oh, and this model? It has both 433 megahertz RF and Wi-Fi. That means it works with mobile apps and smart speakers too. We'll drop a detailed how-to video for this soon. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it. You'll get notified immediately when it goes live. Our main star here, this black box. On the front, four ports. The first two are input live wires and neutral wires. Last two are output ones. Wiring, super easy. This little guy, the receiver's learning button, the antenna, and this is the indicator light. The antenna even has a handy rubber strip. Keeps you safe from electric shock. First, let's use the KR2201B to control the light. A 220 volts light. The lights live and neutral wires. They go to the controller's output terminals. Plug it in, screw it tight. Plug the other one in, screw that tight too. There we go, output wires are all set. Next, the input side. Grab two wires, red for live, black for neutral. Four terminals done. Oh, oops, why did that fall off? Hey, don't forget to secure them properly. Give them a little tug to check make sure they're tight. Finally, connect the controller's input, live wires, and neutral wires to your home's power lines. Wait, super important. Turn off the power before you do this. Wiring done. Let's double check everything. Make sure no wires are shorted. Short circuit, that's when live and neutral wires touch each other. Confirm all connections are correct. No short circuits. Then we can turn on the power. Let's pick up the controller. Press the learning button on the left once. The indicator flashes and the light turns on. Press the learning button again. The indicator flashes once more and the light turns off. That's how the learning button controls the lights on, off. Next, let's take out the 433 megahertz RF remotes. We've got portable ones, wall mounted ones, and long range ones. Next up, let's show you three pairing modes between the receiver and the remote. Press the learning button twice. The LED stays on, entering toggle pairing mode. Press any button you wanna pair. The receiver's LED flashes then goes out. Successfully paired, press the button to turn it on, press again to turn it off. Okay, that's the most common mode, toggle mode. Now, press the learning button three times. The indicator stays on. We're in latching mode pairing now. First, press the any button as your on key. Wait, see the indicator flash and stay lit? Pick a second button as your off key. Press that, the receiver's indicator will flash and turn off. Pair it successfully. Now, press the on button light on. Press the off button light off. Try pressing the same button again. The light won't change, got it? That's latching mode for you. Super handy when you want one remote to control multiple receivers. Press the learning button four times. The indicator stays on, entering momentary mode pairing. Press any button you want to pair. The receiver's indicator flashes once, then turns off. Paired successfully, hold the button down, light stays on. Release it, light turns off immediately. That's momentary mode for you. 
Ideal for short, temporary, on, off tasks. All right, those are the three remote control modes. This controller also has a really useful feature. It's set to power on off by default. Right now, the light is on. If there's a power outage, when the power comes back, the light stays off. Now the light is off. If the power goes out and comes back later, the light still stays off. That's what power on off does. Every time the power is restored after an outage, the light remains off. Now let's press the learning button six times. The receiver's indicator flashes, then turns off, and the light turns on. That means we've successfully set the power on on function. Now the light is on. Let's turn off the power. When we turn it back on later, the light stays on. Let's turn the light off, then turn off the power again. When we restore power later, the light turns on automatically. That's power on on. Every time the power comes back after an outage, the light turns on, no matter what state it was in before. Finally, the last setting, restoring factory defaults. Press the learning button eight times. The indicator flashes, then turns off, and if the light was on, it'll turn off too. That means you've successfully restored factory settings. All remotes you paired before will stop working, and it'll switch back to the default power on off. Since it's high power, it can control fans or 220V motors. Wiring is just like a light. Just replace the light's live wires and neutral wires with the fan's two control wires. Oh, and one thing, before any wiring, always turn off the power. Swap the two wires. Super easy to wire up. Now let's turn on the power. Grab the remote. Press the learning button twice. Enter self-locking pairing mode. Press the remote's A button once. Now press A to turn the fan on. Press A again to turn it off. Wait, I just thought of something. Hey, isn't this exactly how remote fan lights work? Let's get another RF controller KR 2201G. This 10A1 is perfect for lights. It even has a shockproof silicone cover on the antenna. Connect its two output wires to the light's live wire and neutral wire. Plug its input into the KR 2201B input. They'll share the same 220 volts power supply. After wiring, turn on the power. The remote's B button pairs with the KR2201G. Use toggle mode. Press B to turn the light on. Press B again to turn it off. Press A to turn the fan on. This is your DIY remote fan light. 